Hey guys, what's up? This is Apple Investigator here, and today I'll be bringing you my long-awaited review of the iPad Mini. I happen to pick up the 16GB Black and Slate model in the Wi-Fi configuration, so without further ado, let's get on with this review. So guys, the device has a height of 7.87 inches with a width of 5.3 inches. The depth is a mere 7.2 millimeters, very thin and light as well at only 308 grams. The resolution of the screen is 768 by 1024 and is a 7.9 inch diagonal LED backlit display that is the same as the iPad 2. And if we get in a little bit closer, you can see that in no ways this is a retina display, but on the smaller device, the screen resolution seems to be fine for me so far. Now I must mention this screen is a 7.9 inch diagonal display as opposed to the regular size iPad which is 9.7 inches. And on the smaller canvas you're going to be able to do just as much as you could on the big iPad. And the great advantage to this is that all the apps that were produced by developers for the larger 9.7 inch iPad uh, with a 1024 by 768 resolution function perfectly fine on this device without any modifications to the app whatsoever. I must note this thing runs a dual core A5 chip inside, uh, a good amount of processing power that can get the job done for everything that you want to be doing. Multitasking is nice. Um, I, I don't find any issues with speed. Now guys, I find typing on this device to be an absolute pleasure. Um, not too small of a keyboard and I find that it is easy to type on this device in portrait mode as well. It is not bad at all. Your thumbs fit perfectly down here and um, I don't find it to be, I find it to be great for doing work and stuff like that. Now as far as the cameras are concerned on this device, I'm not going to run through uh, images and video examples. I did an iPad mini camera test so you can you guys can check out that video if you wish. But if I zoom in closer here, I'm not sure if you can see, but we've got a 720p HD FaceTime camera out the front that is capable of producing uh, 1.2 megapixel still images. And then if we turn the device around on the back side, we've got a 5 megapixel eyesight sensor up here, which can also record 1080p HD video recording, which looks very sharp, I must say. On the bottom side of the device, we can see that we've got a lightning connector, which is new this year on all Apple devices pretty much now, coming out on the iPhone, the new iPods, as well as this iPad and the iPad 4. But we've also got, as you can see, two speaker grills on the bottom side. And this is a first for any iPads. These are stereo speakers that produce very good sound. And uh, when you're listening to your music and you want a bunch of people to hear it at the same time, this is a great, great solution. The overall build quality and feel of the device is one of the great advantages to this iPad. The black and slate model has a very, very nice finish to it. I must the black matte on the back feels very good in your hand. Um, I do find there to be some smudging on the black model. I'm, I don't think you get this issue on the silver model. Some scratching is evident as well. As you guys can see, there's a minor scratch in the bottom left corner there. Nothing major, but holding it in your hand, you can hold it in your hand with one, one hand on the device, and uh, it's very light, it's very thin, and it feels great in the hand. Taking a look at the side, just to get a good idea how thin this thing is, it's razor thin guys and it is like a pencil thin that's how it, you can see the diamond cut chamfer that Apple says is a nice detail on the side of the device there and um, you can see there I shoot it down you guys can see it's very thin device it's a very nice device to use as well let's talk a little bit about the software so this device runs the latest version of iOS that would be iOS 6.0.1 um, at the time of this recording, the 6.1 is in beta testing and should be released soon. But some of the major features of 6, uh, iOS 6 in general, the iPad mini does support Siri. So you've got your Siri going on there. You've also got some new features uh, such as maps, which were a bit of a problem at the beginning. Some of the bugs have been worked out. But um, you've got your 3D flyovers and stuff like that. 
and overall maps seem to have improved quite a bit since they were first launched. We've also got some improvements to mail such as the VIP mailbox. We've got Facebook integration as well into this software and there are a few other improvements such as Safari where you can get your iCloud tab browsing and a few other great things as well but as I've said previously iOS 6 was a bit of a disappointment with still a lack of customization options like you can do on Android. The last thing I'm going to talk about in this review is simply the price. Um, this is a large debate and the device comes in at $329 for the base model that is the black or white in the 16 gigabyte Wi-Fi configuration it goes up a hundred dollars from there uh, 429 for the 32 and uh, 529 for the 64 and then you've got more upscaled pricing uh, for the three 4G LTE models with Wi-Fi as well um, those prices can be seen online at apple.com uh, in my opinion, what do I think about the iPad mini? I think it's a great device, lacking a retina display. However, I don't find that the performance or display is bad. Uh, I actually love gaming on this device more than any other device, actually. I find that it's the best experience. It's less awkward than having a regular size iPad in your hand. And for $329, I have to say, to some of you, this may seem like a lot, but you get all the performance and features of a regular sized iPad in this smaller package and I highly recommend it if you're looking for a tablet that you want to be able to do some work on, browse the web, do your emails, edit photos, stuff like that. I think that it is a great tablet on the market and I still think that it beats out many of Android's uh, Samsung and other tablets like that. So in my opinion, if you guys are looking for a good solid tablet this is definitely one that you guys should check out and consider for your buying. If you guys like this video, please rate, comment, subscribe, leave a thumbs up as it really helps, and I hope to catch you guys in the next one.